So let's look at the third rule. Rule three. Now, a compound subject that acts as a singular subject takes a singular verb, even when it is joined by end. So we have something like Beans and Gary is my favorite. We have a singular subject, I mean a compound subject that acts like a singular subject. It will take a singular verb. The second rule, we look at the use of the conjunction end, joining two singular subjects or more. Bring, I mean, after that you have a plural verb. But here, this one looks plural in form, but in meaning it is singular. Therefore, Beans and Gary becomes one thing. So, if you are to replace this whole thing with a pronoun, are you going to say they or it? Obviously, you say it. It is my favorite. So, even though joined by end, it is a compound subject in form, in meaning, it's singular. More examples. So, rice and stew tastes delectably. Now, rice and stew, one will say a rice and stew, but you know that the two a one diet so it tastes singular verb therefore it could be is or it could be was rice and stew was served at the birthday party rice and stew was served pea and carrots am and eggs all these are one even though joined by end so we come to examples like this they look a bit complicated now her husband and partner accuses so if you have accuses a verb plus the s is just like is. Let us not forget that. That the verb plus s is just like is. So any verb with the s is like that. Singular is. Now her husband, partner, and you are saying is? How? The reason is that husband and partner is seen as one. The husband and also her partner. So one. It is different from saying that her husband and the partner. So if we introduce a, a determiner here, or any article like the, so her husband and their partner, then we'll say are or accuse without the S. But once we don't have that determiner there, or any article there, then we'll see this to be one thing. So accuses. We also have uh, the he headmaster and teacher. We have headmasters who teach. So he's the headmaster and he also teaches. As one has or the headmaster and teacher is traveling tomorrow. So, headmaster, teacher is seen as one thing. Has, or is, or demands, or wants, reveals. Verbs with the S will come here after this. Mind you, just like this one, if we had said that the headmaster and the teacher, then it will connote two different individuals, entities. Therefore, the headmaster and the teacher have or are or want without the s but once you don't have any determiner here then obviously headmaster is the same as a teacher we know people like that personally i do when you come to the next one the footballer and singer likes dancing as a majority is now a musician apart from being a footballer to me in my idiosyncrasy he's the best striker ghana has ever witnessed so he likes dancing so the footballer and singer what it is different from saying that the footballer and the singer, so that the footballer becomes a Samoajan, the singer becomes Castro. But we don't have the or a or any determiner here. Therefore, this singer and footballer is referring to one person, a Samoajan, or any other footballer, Roger Miller, who likes dancing. So the verb becomes singular or is just like any other verb. That is about the third rule a compound subject that acts. As a singular subject takes a singular verb. So the fourth rule is about a singular subject that is followed by a plural modifier takes a singular verb. So we have a singular subject like list, singular subject like award, singular subject like one, singular subject like one, followed by a plural modifier of the boys. Normally this we call a prepositional phrase or if you like um, adjectival phrase. So this adjectival phrase or plural modifier 
follow, that is following this singular subject. It takes a singular man, award of scholarships, or if you like to students, a list of items. So a singular subject followed by a plural modifier, like of items, takes a singular verb. So you realize that here, this was, which is a singular verb, is agreeing with the list singular subject, not the plural modifier. If you come here, the award of scholarships to students, this of scholarships is a plural modifier. It shouldn't confuse you. Refuse to be confused. The subject here is award, which is singular. Therefore, it should take a singular verb. If you come here to one of the female celebrities, is my favorite. I don't know whether it's Juliet Ibrahim or Dumas, but one of them is my favorite. So one of them, singular verb, agree with a singular subject. One of the boys, obit me being a no, no, see one of the boy, one of the team, one of the benefits. I remember my social studies teacher, he told me that one of the benefits of marriage is procreation. One of the benefits, which means we have several benefits, and one of them is, therefore, he cannot tell, he, he will never say it, that one of the benefits. That's wrong. So one of them, one of these boys, is sick. Singular subject is agree with a singular verb. That is why we say birds of a feather. A feather. Flock together. Now if you look at this one, we have birds. We have of feather. Now here birds is plural already. So here is a plural, I mean a plural subject followed by whatever. So here clearly, Best is plural, so the verb will not take S. So best of a feather flock together. So if we come here like this, lists, which is plural, of items, where, because it is plural. But here it is singular already. Therefore, the verb will also be singular. When you come here, it is plural. So plural subject, plural verb. Best of a feather flock together. But all these are singular subjects that are rather followed by plural modifiers. Obviously, they will take a singular verb. Those of you who are fan of Game of Thrones, season 7, there was a conversation, a confabulation between uh, Miss Sunday, the lady who was, if you like, a servant to uh, the queen, Daenerys. She was having a, con a conversation with Jon Snow and said that was she was. They were talking about bad sides. So the lady asked, he told them that she's surprised about the bastards in the in the north, talking about Jon Snow being a bastard. Then the lady said that the concept of bastards does not exist in Westeros. So you see that the concept here is what? It's singular, subject, followed by plural modifier of bastards does not exist in Westeros. Lady Miss Sunday said this. So you see, movies like this are so enthusing. The language is rich, standard, Merlin and the rest. So the next rule has to do with this one, which is in line with the fourth rule that we looked at. But this time, we've embedded it with relative, uh, relative pronouns, or if you like, relative clauses, or adjectival clauses. Now, one of the celebrities who are refined, so instead of saying one of the celebrities is Juliet Ibrahim, as we looked at the fourth rule, this time, we've included a relative clause, which is introduced by a relative pronoun, who are refined. So the point is that the antecedent here, who is referring to what? How the celebrities. Therefore, one of the celebrities who are, so this agrees with this one, while one agrees with is. When you come here, one of the things, this which here, this relative pronoun which, is in line with this as the antecedent. Therefore, these things agrees with are. While this one agrees with the verb, the singular verb is. One of the benefits of marriage which were taught. So one agrees with is. And then um, which were taught by this person. This whole clause here, this which as an antecedent of this, is referring to what? This one. Therefore, marriage, I mean benefits, sorry. Benefits of marriage, not just the marriage. But benefits of marriage is relating to the where, which is plural. So benefits were one 
is we come here one of the students who are students is plural and this antecedent so is agreeing with a we have one we disagree with the verb um hoops you know a verb with the s singular so one hopes to get a's in the impending wasi but who here is agreeing with students therefore ah so we'll be looking at proximity rule that has to do with a uh, mysis rule of concord or subject verb agreement now here we are talking about proximity what do we mean by proximity proximity means closeness or nearness so with respect to this rule we are talking about uh, the subject that is closer to the verb when you say either or or neither nor obviously you are going to mention more than one subject or more than one entity therefore which of the subjects is going to agree with the verb is it both no one will have to agree with the verb and it is the one that is closer to the verb now either judging club or the players are to blame for the loss against Atletico Madrid, the Champions League. Either the Edding Club or the players are to blame for the loss. Remember that if it is to be, then to be to be blamed. But if it is not there, then to blame for the loss. And let's consider the, the spelling of loss. Some of us write L-O-O-S-E. No, for the loss. Now, the Edding Club is singular and the players is plural. But which of these two subjects is closer to the verb? It is rather the players. Therefore, the players agree with the verb. Players plural, verb plural. When you come to the next one, neither China nor America has found the vaccine to ameliorate coronavirus. Here we have two singular, so that is okay. But the, confu the more uh, confusing one has to do with the one with a singular subject and one with a plural subject, as we have in the first one. Now, if we have this, for example, players coming here and getting club going there, the verb will tend to is. So it will read either the players or getting club singular is to blame for the loss. Let's come to the third one. Either the students plural or the teacher, students and teacher. Which of them is closer to the verb teacher and it is singular. Therefore, takes a verb with the s is singular. If we have the teacher coming here and the students going the other way. Then it will read either the teacher or the students take blame for the students' failure in the exams or the WASI. Neither the members nor the pastor. So we have members, plural, pastor, singular. The pastor is closer to the verb. So a verb with the S. Or if you like, neither the members nor the pastor is to... Uh, neither the members nor the pastor wants... To disrespect the authorities of course uh, pastors in ghana have done very well for respecting uh, i mean nanado's decision that they should stay at home while this whole coronavirus is being ameliorated so none of them none of them wishes to disrespect the authority and that is how we have these members and then pastor pastor agree with singular verb. when we come to this one neither peter Drury no barcelona fans were expecting as roma to score we have peter Drury, singular we have barcelona fans which is plural therefore it is this one that agrees with where a champions league match that uh, barcelona fans don't want to hear i don't know but there's this debate out there that the one fernando torres scored during uh, the champions league encounter with chelsea that was 2012 and then versus rumor i mean as roma and then the last one, which has to do with their play against Liverpool. Which of them was, as a Barcelona fan, which of them was more terrifying? Or if like annoying, the one that really pained you, the one that got you lugubrious, which of them? And so the encounter with, with AS Roma, none of them, neither Peter Drury, who was the commentator on the day, or the Barcelona fans were expecting AS Roma to win the game and that of annihilating and then eliminating them from the game. 